my YouTube channel. So today we're here with Miss Nude Canada. So her name is Onyx. <laughs> so those are all titles and competitions that she won all across Canada, also the States. Yes, yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, make sure you go follow her Instagram and everything, which I'm gonna link at the end of her video because she posts a lot of her performances, which are amazing. Awesome, so we're gonna get started with our question. How did you pick your stripper name? Whoa, well I was dancing to a lot of rock music and my stripper name used to be Sasha. And I was too close to my real name, which is Sachi. So I changed it when I started doing Miss McCanna in 2006. Yeah. And um, this other dancer named Seven Sins, she's like, you need a feature name. So I was like, well, what's relatable? What's relatable? I'm strong and black and beautiful and rock music. Mm. Yeah. Onyx. And then yeah. that's what just stuck. And then, yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, I love you. it. <laughs> so how long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing for 16 years. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn, girl. That's awesome. Um, so what were you doing before you were a stripper? Oh my goodness. I used to work at Eastside Mario's. That was my first waitressing job for about five, six years. And then I became a go-go dancer working at Ooh. Much Music, so oh. Electric Circus, you know those go-go dancers? That's yeah. Me. Toronto and like the government and all that stuff and then I did amateur night and then I became a stripper. Nice! <laughs> That's so awesome. I didn't know that. You worked for MTV. That's yeah. so cool. Or and much yeah, music. MTV, Sorry. much music, same, same, same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you like want to become a stripper? What made you be like, you know, oh, I'm man. doing it. <laughs> this girl on roller skates in, in Ontario, her name's Katya. I don't know if you know who she is, but I have most of her costumes. Like, that's how much she is. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> but uh, I watched her on stage and I was like, wow, she's a performer. And that's what they did those feature shows. Yeah. So, like, I got to see those big shows in the, in the early 2000s. So, yeah. and you could like bring tigers on stage. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> so, that's what inspired me to become a stripper. Like, you can do that shit. That's like, yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, there's not like really much. Big shows happen. No, it's sad, yeah. yeah. Well, you still do some big shows at the. Yeah, the cabaret. The cabaret. Spotlight yeah. cabaret here. Yeah. yeah. It's like my new stopping ground. Every yeah. Thursday night, you want to come out, shop, help your girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> so, do you remember your first night stripping ever? Yeah, it was a Tuesday night, so probably like the deadest night of any of the week, right? Yeah. Um, I went in there as freelancing and I made $700 and I was like, what? I think I like gave the DJ $10 because that's all you get to tip out and I walked home with $700 and I was like, okay, I'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come back. And that was a Tuesday night, so yeah. Tuesday nights are never good. Yeah. It's usually very, very quiet. You gotta wait mm. till the weekend if you really want money, right? Yeah. So. That's awesome. <laughs> So do you remember like your first time on stage, if you were like nervous? Um, I mean, I remember my amateur night competition, barely, and I definitely, first time on stage, I wasn't wearing stripper shoes, I was very, I was very newbie, so yeah. definitely always nervous for a stage show. I still get nervous, but like before that, I was like, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so scared all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they say that if you don't get nervous, it means you don't care. So I think it's a good True. thing. It that, shows your humor. Yeah, and when you have like those little butterfly before yeah. stage, I feel like that's like such a good feeling. Yeah. I love it. I try to channel into adrenaline to make it a good feeling. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where did you all dance, and what would be like one of your favorite club that you worked at? Whoa. Ooh, I feel like I think I think the people that I meet at the club or the people that work there make the club and like it can be like the shitty stage ever but the people that work there and the staff are so friendly that you love it so much. Yeah. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna say uh, Harley's and Yellowknife. Yeah. It's one of my favorite clubs to work at. Nice. Yeah. I've never worked there yet, it's, but I heard I good it. things. Yeah. yeah. Only heard good things about it. <laughs> so um, do you rather wear lingerie or bikinis? Ooh, lingerie. I think lingerie, it's sexy. Lingerie, right? Yeah. It makes you feel a bit more sexy. Yeah, I like it. Or like come in the bedroom. Yeah, kind of style. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> and then boots or shoes? 
I'm starting to really like boots right now, so it's really hard. Like I even like those little short kicks that you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah like ankle those. boots, yeah. So well, I don't know. Let's let's say tie. I'm, I'm into the ankle boots right now, so yeah. that's even like half. Okay, half boot. Half, half. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Can you tell me a, a funny story? Oh man. Um, oh, okay. So uh, this one time I got puked on in the VIP room, and I feel like I should have known, like not known, like when he got in there, I looked at him and he was doing the, yeah. he was doing oh, the nod. No. But he seemed okay. I even asked. If he was okay, he said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I close her off. I'm turned around, so my ass is this way, I'm bent over. All of a sudden, I feel like something warm down my leg, and I'm like, Oh, he must, he must have spilled his drink. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, like, you're not no. allowed to bring your drink in the VIP no. room. So that's what I went. I clicked, and I turned around, and he did the. Oh, and I was like, Oh! But I was laughing because I didn't I did know what else to do. Oh my but God. he was so, he felt so bad. He ran out of there, and I'm like, It's okay. Sink and showered off and laughed about it because I, I feel like <laughs> the thought of thinking in someone's drink oh, spilled on yeah. me, and I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> that's why I laughed. It was like, boom. It's like, oh, 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 oh. caught you off guard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could not handle that. Like, there's, is there wood? Is this wood? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Can you share a crazy story? Oh yeah, I gotta I got get a crazy story. So I have the stalker. Um, yeah, he, he's he's a regular. Right? And uh, used to be. <laughs> used to be. And yeah, very good looking. Yeah, we hooked up a lot. Unfortunately, hooked up here in my house. Um, he lives near me. Unfortunately, everything's unfortunate about yeah, this situation. Right? So a year goes by and I start seeing his truck doing loops around my neighborhood and I'm like, why is he driving around here? Like, why? So then eventually he caught me like in my garage cleaning it so I was, I just happened to be outside. So then he parks in front of my house and gets out and he's all like, oh yeah, like, like we are friends. Yeah. And like, so I let it happen. So he comes in my garage and just hanging out and I'm like, oh my God, this guy is like nuts. So I'm just like, uh-huh. But now I'm entertaining it, so that, that made him come more like maybe like three times a week around my neighborhood. So I was like, okay, I gotta put a stop to this. <laughs> he showed up with his dog, I entertained it again. I was like, oh, okay. So then I just messaged him and I just told him to like, you gotta stop. And then he freaked out at me and he's like, I was just trying to be your friend and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, since when? It's been like a year. <laughs> yeah. And then he just stopped. So he's like, well, that's fine. You take care. I'm like, you too. And then I just blocked him from everything and I still see him. Oh so, god. Not around here, but like we live close by, so he gets really excited when he sees me at the grocery store. Oh so. shit. And then he trimmed your bush. Yeah, yeah, the last time he stopped by, he trimmed my hedges. I mean it was they were trimmed really nicely. But I'm sure that was like a sexual innuendo of like teenager teenage. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> But it's too much, so we'll yeah. Just stay away from the crazies. Yeah. Don't fuck the crazies. Don't fuck the crazies. <laughs> Do not. Do not. You got some crazy. Do not fuck the crazies. crazies. I got some crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. For sure. <sighs> so for our last question, why do you like being a stripper? I love the power. Like I, I get exude from it, you know. Yeah. I feel very confident. I feel sexy. Yeah. Um, yeah, just that feminine, feminine power. I love that energy that comes from it. The yeah. confidence, like I feel like it's my alias too. Yeah, yeah. Like I am shy. If, to get to know me, I'm very quiet. But after you get to know me, I'm like, oh, 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 very yeah. boisterous, but yeah. very, very shy. So yeah. like, being a stripper is like, oh, I am like someone else. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm an attention whore, so that'd be up too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> oh, I know, I love the yeah. attention on stage too. Yeah, it's it's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure to link all of her information at the end of the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And also feel free to leave 
um, in the comments section below. Any questions you would like me to ask the girls? Because soon I'm gonna start doing something a little bit differently in my interviews. So yeah, stay tuned. Ha <laughs> ha